Today we are back in Roblox Meep City and guess what? Today is the day! Today is the day we finally, finally, finally complete our Meep City school build. I actually thought that I would complete it last time, but I kind of got lost with what I should do with this open area. And so many of you guys have contributed your ideas to me and thank you guys so, so, so much for that. A lot of you guys suggested that I make like a student lounge or a reception desk. And to think about it, back when I was in grade school, I do remember remember there being a reception desk where like any tardy students can come and they would get like a tardy slip to go to the classes with and all those kind of stuff so i think it definitely does make sense to make a reception desk here and depending on how our area plays out we might be able to fit like a student lounge area since i am so 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 excited to get this done let's get it started and complete this build we definitely need to light up this area as well um we are going to be purchasing a lot of stuff that i know for sure what we are going to do is we are actually going to put away this mannequin actually you know what we're going to move it to this side because i do want to have um two mannequins for school uniform so whoever wants to dress up in the school uniform that i kind of preset they will be able to dress it up here so i'm gonna have another mannequin for the boy as well or any girls that wants to wear you know pants for their uniform instead we have selected these brick wallpaper last time but it's just i don't know it just looks so dark and everything black bricks look better than the tiny um gray ones we used we also have some extra lockers we could use so we're definitely going to place those down when we actually are towards the end of it i want to take out the stuff that i think i'm going to use um even though this is supposed to be a party counter i think it would be pretty cool to kind of use them to count the students so we're kind of taking a total number of students in the school now other than that we don't really have the stuff we need so let's go shopping i say like i am excited but honestly every time i go shopping i get nervous because i always spend way more than i really need want to i think we definitely need a book let's get a desk chair in fact i think i want to get two of them let's get a large bookshelf i think i'm going to get two small desks and see how that plays out out. Let's get a PC monitor. We also should get a wall clock. I want to get some posters to put on the wall. So let's get this Meep UFO and also natural disaster survival poster. These are kitchen wall cabinets, but I think it would be nice to kind of use them for like a storage, like a cat storage cabinet, you know, overhead storage cabinet that is. All right, we do want to get another mannequin. So let's purchase it while we are still in shop. I think a few rugs would come in really handy. They usually do. Ooh, we definitely need some of these lights. Let's get maybe six of them. Then as my balance is going down like crazy. Oh, maybe we should get some simple table. Let's get two. We should get a potted plant. Maybe a small bookshelf. Let's get some marble support beams. I am going to pick up four for now. And I think that's pretty good number to start with. I was, so I was sleeping. All right, so let's take some of this stuff out we just purchased i want to put the rug over this way and this is where um the reception is going to be and the other mannequin is gonna go on the other side we will set those up in a bit take out the cabinets and put them on the wall all right and then small desks are gonna go right here i kind of want them right against the wall maybe not maybe that's not a good idea okay so let's do it that way oh we kind of wanted to have it centered with the carpet or the rug so let's try to get it centered as best as we can put the pc monitor on one of the desks we're going to put two desk chairs I'm gonna make this one kind of crooked on this side we're gonna put the bookshelf let's put some simple tables against the wall that looks good we're also going to put some oh we should totally put some books over here too that would look nice i believe we had a small bookshelf didn't we okay this one could go right here now let's reposition our um wall cabinets okay that looks nice 
Yeah, I think that looks like a pretty good, like, reception desk area. Oh, 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 I meant to put a book. Where did that book go? Right here. Let's put this book on the table. I should also get a stack of books and put them right there. And I think that looks pretty good. And we just have to light up this area a little bit. Boom. That looks good. Now, I also feel like it would be a good idea to put some couches here. So let's actually extend the area a little bit by using more rugs if my mischief would get out of my vision so that I could actually see a little more clearly. I still love you, mischief. I really do. So it's nicely aligned. We could go ahead and put the visitor counter right next to the mannequins. I think green pops the most. So let's keep it green so that it actually shows pretty nicely. And let's move the mannequins over this way. Okay, we're also missing a lamp on this side. So we need to keep the balance going. All right, that looks good. Oh, even though it's like a little too close to the door. I think that looks nice. Yeah, I have a sofa chair. Just one. I do definitely need more. So let's actually go shopping again and grab another long couch to use right here. I'm gonna get an L-shaped couch and maybe we might need a coffee table. All right, so let's get that. And we will come back for more stuff we need. So let's take out our L couch. This way, if a student is waiting for their parents to come pick them up for whatever reason that they need to be picked up, they could actually, you know, if they're not in trouble, of course, if they're in trouble, maybe they'll, you know, wait in the principal's office. But if they're not in trouble, they could wait comfortably in this little um, reception lounging area right here. Oh, I meant to pick up a stack of books. I totally forgot about that. Let's go ahead and put a poster up. I'm not sure if I really like that poster there, but we are gonna... We're gonna just go with it. Maybe I don't like it because the couch is blue. Okay, that looks better. Now let's make sure all the lights are turned on so that we have um, visibility. Very nice, very nice. I think it would be nice to have more um, lockers right here. So let's actually get that done now. I would love to create another lounging area right here. But honestly, thinking in perspective of designing a school, I feel like if I do put another lounge area here, it would be blocking, you know, kids way a little too too much. I don't know. I'll be I feel like it will be in the way and it won't really feel like a school. So, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put some benches here and some more lockers. Oh, we might need trash bins. Actually, we might need a few. Let's get a stack of books. Let's get telephone here to go in the lounge, I mean not the lounge, the reception area. And we're also going to get two fence dividers. Purchase. What we could do is actually put up a whiteboard. So, let's get that one. That way, if there is any kind of um, announcement that they need to post bulletin on or anything, they could just put it right there on the bulletin board. So we're gonna need a little more lockers. Let's get seven more. Is there a good bench I can use? Maybe for outdoors? Hmm, that does not feel like a school bench at all. What if, what if I get, um, is there like a Dine oh, okay, diner booth. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. That does not feel like a good bench to have in school. So I guess we will have to do without the bench. The reason why I bought these um, fences is because I kind of wanted to create a little bit of division by putting up a full wall right here. That looks good. Let's go put the books on these little tables. Okay, and then we're also going to put the telephone right here. A trash bin right next to the reception desk. And we're going to place trash bins kind of all around the hallway. That way, the students do not need to really look for a trash can because they're right there and they do not have an excuse to, you know, litter around the school property. To create a little more division and create a sense of room, we're going to use these beams. Let's make sure they're kind of centered. Yeah, we're going to create division by doing that. And also, another beam on... Not. Maybe not there. This area could use a lamp. So let's put this one on. I think downstairs hall looks pretty ready. I, some people might disagree, but I feel like, you know, the school isn't always so decorated unless there is like some sort of, 
event going on. So I try to keep it kind of true to school design. Now, let's go ahead and kind of design our um, outfit. Oh, I forgot. So you have to go into the avatar editor and let's go into accessories. We don't really have to care about the hairstyle because it's a uniform. Everybody can wear however they want their hair to be. But we want to look for something that looks like a school uniform. So... There's kind of a limitation on what you can do with the outfits using the avatar editor. It's a great way to change up your avatar if you do not want to spend your Robux. But I want our school uniform to look cute and I just don't have time to scroll through all of these. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually go into Roblox catalog and see if I can find some really cute uniforms that some people have made. Aha! The first one is set, and if you are thinking that it looks like Ron from Harry Potter... Um... Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> now, let's set the girl. I know it's, um... It's Harry Potter Hogwarts uniform, but I really couldn't find any r really good convincing school uniforms. So, yeah, Hogwarts it is. And... We have the girl uniform as well. So now we have uniforms all ready to be worn by students. If I go here, I wear the boy uniform. And of course, you can just go into the edit avatar and select your face and hairstyle and everything. But the outfit is here so that you can change easily. See? That was easy peasy. So guys, I am super duper excited to tell you that I am officially... Finally done with our school build! Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I know that Halloween is coming up really soon in about two months and I will definitely be working on the holiday house. But other than that, what other themes would you like me to um, build? I was thinking maybe getting one of the fantasy looking estates and making like a princess castle kind of theme. But we also need to keep in mind the furnitures that are available in Meep City because there are a lot of furnitures but not enough to have variety of styled houses. Anyway, if you guys have followed me along with building my school and this adventure, thank you guys so 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 much for sticking by me and giving me a whole bunch of inspirations and ideas. Without you guys, this project would not have been as fun as it was. Here's the um, nurse's office. That was the cafeteria. Here is the teacher's room with principal's office and the detention hall. Upstairs, we have a whole bunch of classrooms. This one is the auditorium. And we also right here have the science classroom and have the storage room over yonder. We also have the students' dorms with bathroom right here, shared bathroom. And then we also have um, a gym this way with locker room this way. I know a lot of people are saying like you should make one for boys and girls. Guys, we just didn't have the luxury to have both. And then we also have a library this way. So yeah, this was a long, 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 long time involved project. But I am so excited to finally have it done. Any poo, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!